Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, I will show you how to configure a secure VNC server in CentOS 7. I will only install the bare minimum packages needed to accomplish this task. So let's get started. The packages we needed are Tiger VNC server, Matchbox window manager, Xterm, Xcorg, Exelon fonts. So the installation is going to take some time, so I will pause the video and I will resume once the installation is completed. So now the installation is completed and I am going to create a file in root's home directory. The file name is called .xclients. So let's create that file. So in this file I will um, add two entries. One is for the xterm and one is for the uh, video manager. So, and once you add it, you can save it. And you have to give execution permission to this file. Okay, so let's start the VNC server. I'm going to give the minus localhost um, because I don't want my VNC port to be exposed. So, so that with this flag, it will only listen to my loopback IP address. So let's execute this command and you have to give a password that will be used later when you access the VNC using VNC Viewer. And here we don't want any view only password. So let's say no and press enter. So the session is started and as you can see, uh, it is listening on session uh, one and um, so let's have a look at uh, the log file to make sure there is no more errors. And as you can see, there is no errors or anything reported. And from here, you can see the port uh, used for this session is 5901. And we'll, we will be using this port, uh, but we will not be accessing it directly. Instead, we'll be using SSH tunneling to access this port. So let's start an SSH tunnel using PuTTY and you have to give the IP address of the server. Yeah. And also you have to uh, expand the SSH and click on tunnel. Here you have to give a source port that you can take like double line zero one and the destination as the loopback IP address of the server column, the port number that is final zero one. So the whatever the communication that is going to happen through this double nine zero one port on the your window system or your local system that will be forwarded through ssh tunnel to the local host ip address or the loopback ip address of the server to the port 5901 that is how the ssh tunneling works and that is how the port is getting forwarded via ssh so let's open this session and you have to give the credentials same as like the one you already did and let's open the event log from the putty session and here you'll be able to see uh, the port forwarding is enabled and it is waiting for the connection to happen so let's start the vnc viewer so you can download any vnc viewer and i have downloaded tiger vnc and here you have to give the local host colon double nine zero one so that is your uh, client's local um, port. And here it will ask for the password that you set. And you have to give the password. So now you got an annex session. So from here, you can execute any command which needed annex window. So this will be helpful if you are uh, trying to install uh, Oracle or SAP uh, using GUI uh, and here you don't have to install any kind of uh, heavy window manager like Genome or KDE to accomplish. So I hope this video is informational and helpful. So if you like it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for my next videos.